some, well, we, we have an interpretation of how evolution works. Uh, if we divide evolution into two categories, using speciation as kind of a midpoint, then we can look at evolution from either side of that. And so the big picture of evolution, and this is really what um, Matt and Matt Ruth was talking about, uh, if we're looking at evolution as it relates to the idea that changes accumulate in allele frequency in a population, you got little changes, they build up, and eventually you hit enough of those changes that you've got what you call a new species. So if we look at that, that's macroevolution. Um, this is, uh, sometimes it's described as a holistic approach to evolution. We're looking at the big picture, and we're trying to see what's going on with evolution. And I kind of bulleted the main points there. Uh, it's above the level of species formation. Um, the evolutionary changes result in species formation. Hey, Doug. Okay. Before you blast through that, no, no problem. Could I just pick that one sentence there? Yeah. New species will emerge as ancestors of prior lineages? Yes. New species will emerge as ancestors. Not, sorry, not as ancestors. Okay. Descendants. 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 Thank you. Descendants. Okay. Okay. Now I'm, now I'm with you. Yes. Okay. 